uh, I should say that I uh, really enjoyed this book for two things. Both the content that you're working and exposing, the facts, it's important, and also the perspective that you use while looking at that content, uh, at those facts. Yeah, one of the things that motivates the book is uh, kind of an intensive conversation going on here in, in the West, in the U.S. and other Western countries. The book is a dialogue certainly with uh, Muslims, with the Muslim world, but also very much is situated in a kind of intensive, I would even say culture war here, um, here in the West. And it's kind of a culture war that, um, so you have two sides. On one hand are what I call Islamo skeptics. And they would say, uh, they're kind of the cold warriors. They would say, well, Islam is really, we have to be very honest about it. It's close to being something like hardwired for violence. On the other hand are what you might call Islamo pluralists to say, no, no, you've got it all wrong. Islam is just a religion, just like any other religion. It's a peaceful religion. You know, it's got a few bad apples. You are fair. Uh, factual and you want things to get better you don't want to bring more hatred or division to the world to uh, you know kind of move in, in the hopeful direction towards the end of the book is to identify uh, potentialities for expanding religious freedom um, in the Islamic tradition I call them seeds of freedom and what I mean by that are either doctrines or practices or historical episodes that show a kind of capacity for freedom, even if they themselves are not the full realization of, of a doctrine or a widespread um, uh, practice of freedom.